Hi Cancer, hope you're well. Welcome to your reading. Today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Very interesting. Right now, you got the Three of Cups and you also have the King of Pentacles. So your angels are telling you that a third party, friend, family member, even someone you might meet at work, is going to be introducing you to someone who has mastered their finances, someone who is really either a business owner or a CEO. And I do see here that this person is going to see a lot of potential within you and try to help you, mentor you, teach you, guide you, show you what to do, right? At the end of the day, you've asked for help. Spirit, help me acquire wealth. Help me start a business. Help me, you know, invest in something. Let, learn, teach me how to day trade. Teach me how to do Amazon, something. Right now, your angels and guys are telling you that they're bringing that help to you. But in order for you to get that help, it's so important. You have to vibrate higher to attract brighter. That's what it comes down to. When you meet someone, when you want guidance, even when you meet someone and you want to date them, you know, they want to join the winning team. They want to be around fun, joy, and excitement. And they also want to be around someone with potential, someone whose awareness is in the present moment, someone who's coachable. And that's why being in that high vibration, vibrating higher, you will attract brighter. That's all that matters. And vibrating higher means doing things that are exciting, fun, joyful, blissful, passionate. What excites you? What is fun, right? Going for a walk excites you. Watching a show excites you, calling your friends excites you, whatever that is, find and pivot to those as many of those as you can. Just knock them down as many as you can in a day. And that's exactly how you become the high vibration and attract what you emit. Now, very interesting because you also got the two of wands and you have the uh, page of swords letting you know that your angels are telling you that in order for you to attract what you're looking for, it's essential that you are decisive, right? You have to be decisive with your energy. And right now, to be decisive with your energy, you just have to manifest, which is the art of allowing. So I'll give an example. Right now, imagine you're like, I want to you know, start a business, but mm, what if it fails, right? That's not being decisive. It's almost like you got to tell yourself, I'm going to start a business and it is going to be the best business that ever got started. I'm going to make so much money from this. And I'm going to do something I love, right? So that's why it's so important to align yourself with the vision of the future or you will be left with a memory of the past. And the memory of the past is like, as far as, it's just all the data you collected so far, but it's really your conscious data. It's not, not even your subconscious data. And that's why your, your source is telling you to align yourself with that beautiful, you know, present moment vision of the future to track what you're looking for. Now, very interesting because you got the four of cups and the ten of pentacles. So your key to success right now is getting grounded, intuitive, and aligned. And then there is some sort of passion that you're going to monetize, make money doing something you absolutely love. And source is telling you to infuse your day with one joyful activity to be on this path. So I'll give you an example. Like, what is one thing that brings you fun, joy, and excitement in a day? Maybe what is this one thing you look forward to every single day? Maybe you wake up, go to work, come home, and then when you come home, there's a show you watch or a meal that you cook, or there is a book that you read or there is something that you do like what is that one thing you look forward to every single day right and really to really be excited be joyful for that thing you know and if you don't have that one thing ask yourself what would you like it to be right? Like you can start incorporating things in there. Like for example, like maybe you could tell yourself, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up and before I go to work, I'm actually going to do a little walk around the block. Or before I walk into my job, I'm going to meditate two minutes in the car before I walk in and set the intention for the day. I'm going to tell myself today's going to be a, 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 a great day and I'm going to get that promotion. But finding that thing you're joyful for is where it's at. Now, very interesting because you got the night and uh, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. And right now, Source is telling you that this is a great time to be inspired and motivated. And you use that inspiration motiva motivation to start your day with positive affirmations, right? Positive affirmations are going to get you that motivation. So for example, when you, when you wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, right? When you're brushing your teeth, tell yourself, I am confident, I am positive, I am charming, I am funny, I am patient, I'm attractive, I'm likable, and I'm approachable. I am exciting, I am joyful, I'm passionate, I'm blissful. 
Any one of these things, it doesn't matter, right? Just repeat it to yourself. Repeat one of these things over and over and over again. And there's nothing better than reprogramming your subconscious mind first thing in the morning for success. This is how you become the cause and effect. This is what sets you apart, having these excellent habits and mind state. Now, very interesting because you have the 10 of wands and the eight of wands, letting you know that there's an unsustainable energy that has to get cleared here because this un unsustainable energy is not paying dividends and it's basically a waste of time. So what is source telling you right now? Challenge and replace these limiting beliefs, right? So for example, maybe right now you are you know, uh, eating a certain way. Yeah, imagine eating chicken and broccoli every day because you were told that this is going to help you lose weight. Now imagine you're eating it every day and it doesn't feel good. It doesn't excite you. You don't like chicken and broccoli. You're tired of it, but you're still doing it because you know you're sticking to a diet. Now source is telling you that, you know, is there a better way of doing this? Can you make that chicken and broccoli taste better? Or can you change that up to something else? Maybe like you don't digest chicken that well. Maybe you digest legumes better. Like for myself, I eat split peas for my protein. I feel fantastic. So so it's just telling you, if something is not working, it's because you're meant to re-strategize. That's all it really is. You're supposed to change the strategy up and then it will start clicking. Now you got temperance and the six of wands. And this is really about... <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's about that sneeze. Sorry about that. Right now, source is telling you victory is close by. Right? You have very uh something success, some sort of you know, victory, some sort of you know, um celebration is about to take place for you. And right now, by visualizing your desired outcome regularly, you're just gonna press fast forward on this victory. So maybe right now you've been waiting to you know, uh, get that promotion at work and it's right around the corner. And then if you want to press fast forward on this by visualizing getting that promotion, you know, what I would do is I would visualize a three second clip of me shaking my boss's hand saying, congratulations, Vince, you got the promotion. Congratulations, Vince, you got the promotion. Over and over and over again on repeat until what I felt that visualization turning into reality, right? Until I could live, eat, breathe it, until I could sneeze it, for example, right? Right now, source is telling you that if there is some sort of energy that you're walking away from, instead walk towards it. Don't fear it. Walk towards it. And by challenging and replacing those limited beliefs and choosing a positive response in, challenge, in challenging situations, you're letting your angels and guides know that you're ready for more. Because let me tell you, if you're able to visualize yourself, you know, a, um, your boss uh, giving you that promotion at work, you're going to be able to visualize you holding your soulmate's hand. You're going to be able to visualize yourself growing old with the person you love. You'll be able to visualize that business being successful. But it all comes down to starting somewhere, right? Like remember riding a bike? Remember at first it was so difficult and then after a little while you could do it with your eyes closed, tying your shoes, same thing. That's where visualizations come in. First, at first it makes it a little difficult, but start off something small. Like visualize moving a chair, visualize opening a fridge door, visualize drinking something, right? Make it super simple. And then next thing you know, you'll be visualizing yourself... You know, riding an elephant in the Sahara. Like you could, you could do some crazy stuff with that. All right, Cancer. Now time for some money and love. Write your affirmation down in the comment section and quantum entangle with what is your birthright, which is abundance. All you have to do is become the cause and effect. Let spirit know you are ready for this high outcome by writing your confirmation, your affirmation down in the comment section. So your affirmation for today is when I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. Let's try that again. When I follow my heart, oh, 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 here we go. Third time's a charm. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. This is you confirming that you listen to your instincts and intuition and you welcome and invite guidance from source. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, lamp for you write that down in the comment section and let spirit know that you are ready all right now final message from your spirit guides final message is love is the reason oh yeah so each person in your life is there for a reason, and the reason always has something to do with love. Now, love is happiness, peace, and joy. Your angels and guides are telling you that there is something you could learn, teach, there's something that you could start, stop, something you do more of, something less of, when it comes to the people in your life, right? And a lot of times when we're dealing with people in our lives, maybe friends, family members, right? We can't choose our family, but they're there for a reason. Like diamonds are built under pressure. I have family members that, you know, um, sometimes are difficult to deal with because I see their potential, and sometimes they are, 
are, you know, limiting themselves to their circumstances. And, you know, when something like this happens, you know, I, you know, I look at that adversity as a way to introduce me to myself. How patient and calm can I be? How loving can I be here? How can I help guide this person without being emotionally invested or trying to force them into listening, instead letting them take possession of it, right? So it's really getting to know yourself. Life is, life is a mirror, not a window. And the more calm, cool, collective you are, the better you feel in the high vibration you are, the, the more you're, 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 you're shining brighter, the more of a high outcome you will attract. All right, Cancer, hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I appreciate you. Till next time, chat soon.